a sudden, for the first time, we're getting gang members out, we're getting drug lords out, we're getting really bad dudes out of this country, and at a rate that nobody's ever seen before. And they're the bad ones. And it's a military operation because, you know, what has been allowed to come into our country, when you see gang violence and you've read about like never before, that statement came hours before Homeland Security Secretary John Kelly spoke in Mexico saying there will be no use of military force in immigration. Kelly traveled to Mexico with Secretary of State Rex Tillerson to speak with top Mexican officials. Very, very clear. There will be no, repeat, no mass deportations. All deportations will be according to our legal justice system, which is extensive. It includes multiple appeals. When asked about the disagreement between the president and Homeland Security Secretary's statements, Press Secretary Sean Spicer said the president had not been speaking literally. He said Trump used the phrase military operation as an adjective to describe the precision in immigration enforcement. Fatal drug overdoses have skyrocketed in the U.S. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the rate has more than doubled since 1999. Officials say deaths due to opioids outpaced suicide and car accidents in 2015 as a cause of death. The CDC says 91 Americans die each day from opioid overdoses. The White House has announced plans regarding federal marijuana laws. Press Secretary Sean Spicer says there may be greater enforcement when it comes to states that allow recreational use. This is a reversal from the Obama administration's stance, which wouldn't interfere in states where recreational use of marijuana is allowed, like Colorado and Washington. The marijuana industry is expected to create more than a quarter million jobs by 2020. A new lawsuit is charging Uber with using stolen Google laser technology in its self-driving car business. Waymo, a Google self-driving car company, claims a former employee downloaded nearly 10 gigabytes of confidential files and trade secrets. The former employee then founded Otto, a competitor run by Uber. The technology is at the center of this case. Uh, the technology that is at the center of this case, I should say, uses laser beams to paint a 3D picture of the world. The lawsuit claims the sensors can detect hazards that human drivers would miss. So they move them while I'm in the Yeah, they're really trying to move them. Jeez. 839. News bloopers from our friend at MTV Live. Sometimes bloopers are typos or technical mistakes. Sometimes it's just bad judgment. Our big story from WSET in Lynchburg. Plants bloom. <laughs> Again, if you're just joining us, plants are blooming. More details tonight at 11. Again, small market. Big story. So what's the top story? W-O-A-E-O. Wash your hands. You can see in the top story banner, experts say washing your hands is a good thing. And Fox 54 in Huntsville is reporting a damn crisis. 